Next time we will have one yeah, conference. We're live. We should more like or expect the rocket. Better? <laughs> wow. Oh, it's too much. Oh, OK, we have a weekly with two guests. And there will be a third guest. And she is always late, too, because she knows us. She said, Margret is coming. So you know Margret? Do Margret. Oh. Yeah, Margret uh, wow. she works for um, uh, us. Production help assistant. She wants to be there on the side to talk to the guy. Now we have another guy. Can someone show the camera? Yeah. Sorry. You're the cameraman. Who are you? Yeah. Um, uh, Daniel. And people call me Sankulo. <laughs> um, now I'm extremely excited to be here and because I get to meet uh, the people I've been talking to for I don't know, like 10 years, but never seen them in person, so this day is crazy. Uh, it's a big disappointment, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> they are all so tiny. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I know, uh, I'll be reading I'll, some of the reading stuff for you, Larry. So today I also got to see the, what the, what we got for the storyboard animatic food. Uh, yeah. That could be a huge task. A lot of confidence. Daniel will be here for two weeks and he goes back to Costa Rica and will be reading. And we might find a way to have you here coming back. But that's a discussion. Awesome. Um, Everybody already knows you. Yeah, regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah sort yeah. of. <laughs> I have the privilege of living 20 kilometers from here. Yeah. <laughs> And I've nothing to do on a Friday afternoon, so <laughs> <laughs> I popped up again. Oh, and uh, well, that was it. What are you doing now? I, I uh, have some secret project with Sherita. Yeah, that's secret. Not a secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's a definition of a secret project. Sorry. <laughs> Within two weeks, you got home. Uh, in the week. One. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Okay, so uh, what are you going to start with? With the director? The script. The script. Wow. You do better. The script finish. That's better than uh, yeah, yeah, the last one. But, um, and, and the animatica is, uh, you saw it. It's just so it's the first new, 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 new version of it <laughs> out of the new script. So, uh, what was the music you had? It's, it's from the band, but it's not uh, it's not the same. I, I used to change every time because I don't want to get too used to one. So I like this one. It's a bit more sad, but I don't know. Maybe that's also not as cheerful as it was supposed to be for the others. So I don't know. But I still have a lot of uh, mixed feelings about the animatic. That is a, a lot of work to do, but it really is going to go through the layout process now. I think. We cannot really go far more with the storyboard on these opening scenes. Most of the work is done and it has to be refined while moving things with the real characters, with the real framing and stuff. So then we can go a bit further on the character developments and stuff, so and rewrite dialogues if needed. But uh, yeah, the, I, I'm pretty convinced that we have the, the whole thing for the opening, uh, for the island. Now, next week, or in two weeks, we have also the jungle scene, the same, like all wound up and nice from the last uh, script. And maybe some first layout shots, I don't know, we'll see. So, depends on the modeling and reading process. 
<laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Monday, you got a wreck. Bam, snap on. Then you have you to get play play and you have Tara. So Monday, you will have uh, Victor, and then we have to wait for the Monday. For, for Frank, yeah. But still, we can already work also on, 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 on shots on the island and stuff. So. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's, uh, the class without it's not. It's not yet, but uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will. I'm exporting it right now. The kind of problem with sound. It could be online without the music. So let's do a clockwise one. Huh? No, this is some okay. uniform distribution. Easier for the camera to work. Okay. But then you have to. Yeah. Random then, then, then you argue hey, about yeah, how it's calculated. Campbell, what did you do? Um, uh, most, what can you do? Um, mostly worked on uh, blend file unpacking. So you can point it at a blend file and it finds all its dependencies and puts it in directly for you and remaps all the paths and library links and all that stuff. And I wanted to have something to show, but basically it gets one of the common enders. Comp, comp files and it can get all the libraries and all the images and put them in a directory in about four seconds. So I think there's a few hundred meg files there, so it's fast enough, but I can probably make it faster. And I'm pretty happy with that, but there's a few missing links. So I'll work on that next week. Cool. It's probably missing already. They're probably missing already. Like no, uh, the, the files were saved with missing files. No, it's a bug in my script. Okay. Definitely. You can't blame us. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it going to be? A script or something? Or an adder, it's or a command line at the moment. Line. You just say blend file source destination and it copies it. But we can access it other ways too. I mean, but how can we give this to others? Like maybe render farms like to have it? And, uh, the cloud. Yeah, and the cloud will have it. But uh, render farms like it too. Or somebody wants to send the shop yeah. to the render farm and then you can pack it at the ship. And I don't have to worry about them checking out crap and things. You have one shop, and that's it. I mean, it's just a it's a single file, well, two files, but it's like a very small Python script. It runs without any dependencies, mm -hmm. so anyone can just run it without even Blender being installed. Yeah. You could just get to a farm and they can use it. So you can show to the artist, so that you do. Yeah. Could be in Blender, yeah, part of the external data or something like that. Not an atom. Yeah, well, everything is an atom. Mm -hmm. You can expose it how we like, really. I had an issue with that external data thing once when I had like a, um, I had a project and I was exporting the data because I had so many textures called one dot JPEG that uh, <laughs> it kept just all writing itself. Yeah, it was it like not, script. Oh, uh, the uh, using textures called one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It was, uh, it was a rookie mistake. A rookie mistake. In the chair. So, uh, Daniel, what did you do? Well, if you want, I can show you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it not there? Yeah. Wow, you have your weekly folder? But you started to do it. Already. Yeah. That's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, it's not the old rigs. I have to model it so that they fit my rigs because I finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, wanna come over? Yeah. Sorry. We're gonna use a very unstable blender. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell from the pot. <laughs> you just... can tell from this. Oh, uh, <laughs> spoiler alert! We can't. Can we? No, we can't. Oh yeah. Can't use it better, yeah. But there was some. No, you have to imagine the mouse is somewhere here. <laughs> and there's no no. Okay. No, no, it's one meter. The mouse is somewhere around here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, I my first task is to make a quick rig for layout purposes. So I decided <laughs> to to cheat and use the rig I had. Um, that's why it's almost done at least this part because I, I already had it. So what I've been doing today is like fitting it to, to the existing model of Victor. Yeah. 
Um, can you can I stop you for a moment? Yeah. Nobody's seeing you, by the way. Oops. So Oops. we need to share the screen. I'm an idiot. Oh, and by the way, are you allowed to ask that? Ah, uh, yeah. I told them they came both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come here. No, but it's safe, you know? <laughs> Anyway, sorry. What could go wrong anyway? <laughs> uh, there's no signal anymore, that's okay. Because you switch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like a turn off. It's oh. not okay, but it works. <laughs> you can write. Uh, the, uh, uh, hmm? You can write this and pass. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Just, so just so uh, to show how it's going to work. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, rig based on Spline IK. Like when Sarah and I made uh, the cooking show, some of you have seen it maybe. Yep. I started developing this Spline IK based idea for so that everything has um, two mini style, but you won't be able to see it now because it's not hooked up. But basically, it allows almost any part to be bendy stretchy. So if you have like IK behavior here, you can also like scale any any part you want, and of course, it won't show. But oops. So you can make it like way bigger or smaller, and also you get bendies. Um, you have to mm. use your imagination here. <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah. on. Yeah, and, and <laughs> the cool thing is that the IK behavior doesn't change. So you have you can have like the bendy effect plus the IK, which is important, uh, and that that is like um, used everywhere else. Uh, these segments. But the one drawback of this rig design is that it needs to use lots of objects. So it's not as easy to repurpose for another character. Because I already did this one, but sadly, it has <laughs> another rig and like a, a lot of curves and modifiers that has, have to be reset, like hooks. So, so every time you want to implement that's the real work. Things. Yeah, that's the real job I have to do this week. This this part is easy. This one. You know, just I'll ask a dumb question. Is there any sound since the camera is off? Just just wondering. Uh, I don't know. Tap. Yes. Yay! So no, yeah, that's it. Nothing really to show. <laughs> that's it. Oh. <laughs> By the way. This is Angela's work for the week. Yeah. Yay! Oh, wow. Angela did more, I think. I, ha I have rendered a render for this. Ah, okay, so don't do many. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better one. Um, so, yeah. Uh, right. So, but I thought we would have the Icelandic guy now. What? Gatti! Yoo! Yeah, hey! Yeah. I guess that's it. So, uh, just go to my weekly folder and open. Uh, I put the caterpillar rig there. A blend yeah. five of the rig. It's a blend five too. Yeah. The widgets are really getting used. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> well, well, well. Well. Um, so this week I finished rigging the caterpillar. There are two blend cards. Oh, uh, it's the one called Frank Caterpillar. Oh, yeah, fine. Okay. <laughs> 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 two, this yeah. one. Oh. 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 Wow. Well, well, it's just no. It's just Tara. It's it's just because we were uh, I imported her for scale, and then I threw her away. But she's still in the yeah. Stupid blender. What the hell? The blender doesn't release things. Come on, apparently. So I'll just play around with it. Uh, wow. Hide the super Wow. That's hey, it's not stupid, it's just fat. <laughs> so you can you can play this by the way if you want. I just did a really simple okay, dummy test. Wow! Oh, I can play it. Oh. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, it's just like, whoa! Freddy, oh, Freddy! Run, Freddy! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's really basic. <laughs> you know the little we can perspective. Yes. Perspective. Yeah. 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 
So it's a, it's a really simple test, of course, but it, it seems to work. And the rig itself was, uh, there was a lot of experiments going on because I really wanted to try to put like two different layers of squishiness in them. So you have like the main bones and then you have uh, like a circle for every layer of fat. And that's also like its own squishy part. So yeah, you can really feel the squishiness. And you can switch it from IK to FK, and every uh, leg can also be IK to FK. Oh, if, you mean every leg? So you have to scale it. If you scale it down, it, it switches to uh, FK, yeah. Or IK, or whatever. So, um, so uh, yeah, probably not too tough right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> there's another yellow big stuff on top. Do you scale that down? No, it's yeah. It's the difference between FK and IK. Yeah, that that limit scale thing is not working. Uh, you know, I try rotating. Yeah, it's a couple of years. And of course, you can break it if you just go insane with it. Whoa! That is great. Yeah. Oh, the humanity. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So uh, while I was rigging him and doing all these different experiments, uh, of course, I stumbled upon a lot of weird stuff with Blender. Blender is perfect, of course, <laughs> but uh, some of the constraints don't do what they s claim they do. So, uh, you know, uh, child off constraint isn't necessarily child off when it comes to certain features. Um, scale limit is not scale limit, apparently. And uh, I had issues with stretch too, but Lucas uh, checked it out and he added a really cool feature. So there's like a max and min feature in uh, scale bones, scale two. And then there's also like smoothness from zero to one. So it doesn't just hit a wall when it, when it reaches its max. So that offers a lot of opportunity to do squishy rigging. Nice. <laughs> Can someone count down Pablo? <laughs> Pablo, go crazy! <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. That, so there's nothing uh, regarding the face because that was not what I was supposed to be doing. I was just doing the, the overall uh, body and whatever. So that's it. That's my week. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Survey. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Are they doing from the far side, not from the front? Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how they do it. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll ask them, wait. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> We're inside the squishiness. We broke the matrix. <laughs> anyway. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> go outside, go outside. <laughs> what? Wow! Ah, ah, ah. What the hell? It's green. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So cool. Anyway. Done. We need a better mascot for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the animation was wasn't final. I just uh, cooked up something just before the Not final animation. No, I'm sorry. Jesus. Jesus. Well, it was a it was a good test. Like, it was kind of tricky. Trying to make him do what every caterpillar do, that weird wave motion. Because he's walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for the next week, walk mm -hmm. and better walk shackle. Yeah. Of course. Awesome. Well, walking is a relative term <laughs> when it comes to caterpillars, I guess. You're in a falling cycle. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <how I'm laughs> yeah. Okay. How about the jetpack? <laughs> and it's like it's leaves the water. ass behind. There will be news at the Dragon Conference about the good belly asset management. Blender asset management. <laughs> and Blender asset management. So I'll wait one more week. Oh, it's like you're in someone's. Uh -huh. What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> you always skip your health. 
<laughs> it could be like an anatomical video yeah. or magic. Yeah. <laughs> Colonoscopy. Yeah. <laughs> totally. I forgot the real life literature of every name. Every obsession yes. he, he's been. Please, throw it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks uh, strangely obscene. It's a bit obscene. <laughs> but now it's just cool. Come on. It's inside the okay. throat. Okay. Well, Shut up. Pastor, that's the, the realest thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's in, in share. My, uh, okay. So this week I've been working a bit more on Victor, a bit on Caterpillar, uh, on Edit, sorry, a bit on Dragonflash. And uh, today, uh, uh, since Nitya sent the first model, I've been making some some tweaks and making some renders also. So we can start with that. Uh, well, there is like the Victor character sheet that I just updated because that was my Monday. <laughs> because I just did like all the body stuff she asked me. Exactly. And something happened with, in, in the J JPEG. I see that there is other, other stuff. So just uh, I corrected a bit the proportions because he was too short last time and make him naked <laughs> just to see how his body was. So that was for the, uh, to facilitate uh, Nixia's work. Also, I make him with ears and without. Uh, um, can, can you also, uh, show the, the face? Uh, no, 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 before the face part. Is that here? Here? Okay, there. So I put, I make him the ears, so without the, the headphones, because I didn't have that. And now, can you show the Victor's renders, please? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what I did in the export. That's fine, it's a number. Mm. Okay, so that's uh, Victor in 3D. Right now, so we have it uh, front, yeah, exactly. I I bit changed some stuff of, of the of the face and also the body. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, the animatic model. So yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, right? yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, so got more attention. Uh, is he going to tear off his clothes? Hmm, no. I don't think so. No. Not in this pilot. Not in this pilot. But uh, yeah, it's coming, coming along. Coming along. <laughs> it's nice. nice. Yeah, I reduced a bit the eyes. They were a bit too big. Uh, touched them a bit the, the whole overall uh, shape of the face. So yeah. So Isla said that she would like to have help with the group. Maybe. Uh, I did yeah. also a bit uh, of grooming. <laughs> I touched a bit of it. I mean, with in the, for the final character. Yeah. The, oh, okay. The, uh, final model. Final yeah. Model. It would be tough, but I have rock. It would be nice to test that. Yeah. <laughs> to test that soon, it would be nice to see if we need any more tools or something. But you did lots of grooming. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Coming on this. In your your life. Life. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want him to look like a llama, <laughs> I'm fine. Well, the llama has hair. What's the others? Yeah, but not like those. Of course not. But that's the it's not a hipster llama. Try what? <laughs> <So, laughs> I could try. <laughs> but at least you know how hair works. Yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah. I mean, uh, we have to decide what to use, like uh, mesh or actual hair for such yeah. as big long hair. What for the layout or for the final character? I'm not sure to have real hair for the final character. Of course you will. You're not going to have a polygon haircut. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you will have real hair. Blender mm. yeah. can do that? No. <laughs> oh, okay. If you want to have it, they have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody that's very good with hair, oh, especially blue hair. 
Mm. I've heard great things. <laughs> yes. Ooh, is he coming? Is he finished? Of course he is. Of course he is. Is he reading it? Okay. okay. And the last uh, dragonfly work. Ah. It's not finished. I've done a lot of research this week. So this was last week's first proposal. Um, then under it, you can see some color research. Um, thank you. So yeah, I, I try like to make a pose with the caterpillar on it. So the idea yeah, is that it, it seems like a motorcycle. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So uh, personally, I like the goldy, goldy one. I think it will work. Uh, with the pink uh, 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 background. In the script, he's using his hand yeah. to grab the eye. eye. Mm. Yeah, well, you can yeah. see it there. Like, yeah. uh, I, I was going to pull the ratatouille. Yeah, so, yeah. so there I made like a, a bit of study of different silhouettes mm. to see what was working better, what was more motorcycle, uh. better, what was more uh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So uh, the director yeah, liked, liked that one. Exactly. So the last one is, is the one uh, that was picked. Yeah. I don't see awesome. the button, I like he's squishing this. It's because it looks like a motorcycle. This yeah. is like riding a Velociraptor. He's you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> on, on a Vespa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the one on top is also nice. That one. This? Yeah. Now you see that he's clearly holding it and that he still has eyes. Where are the eyes now on the bottom right? Yeah. Uh, in Here, the back. In the oh, back. Go to the side. In the yeah. back, yeah. Wow. This, is yes. like, mm -hmm. ah, they, this is cool, you can. There is a guest. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. That's uh, about great. Yeah. 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 This one's also, the last one's nice and clumsy. But he almost falls yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a segue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and next picture I did that one on with more, more. Uh, I did a yeah, I did a test of that one, but it's not the one that will be. Like, yeah, and there are some crockies. Uh, exactly. Hi, hey. Hello. Hi. So yeah, so the idea is that uh, the. Oh, wait. Let me put Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Do you continue? Yes. Yeah, this is awesome. Continue. Okay. So yeah, so uh, the first uh, of the croquis is like the one I made under, uh, but it was like more too comfortable to segue exactly. Mm. But I was like just searching. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and then the middle one and the last one is the is maybe uh, how it will end, but I, I still, still need some refinement. So the idea is that the the eyes are up, and he takes he takes the the eyes and makes them part of uh, makes them like a motorcycle. He will deform them. Yeah. So so that's the the two others. Uh, where he just takes them and, and, and put them. <laughs> what's, what's the stuff on the top? Like, oh, I don't know. I just uh, was trying. <laughs> stuff. The long hair from Frank. Yes, <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes <laughs> long hair. Motorcycle, long hair. Yes, exactly. Decoration. Mm -hmm. No, it's like and an the, 80s rock star, you know. <laughs> so uh, hopefully next week. I will have them there, like with shading and details. Yes. But uh, and yeah. Right there, the yeah, 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 yeah. And the voices. He's speaking. <laughs> no, he's not speaking anymore. No, <laughs> this one doesn't no. speak. No? Yeah. They don't talk anymore. The other ones. But there are no, categories. None of them. Yeah. speak. <coughs> there are 20 or 30, Good. no, hundreds <laughs> of talking caterpillars. Oh, right. Yep. <laughs> Instead. <laughs> and that's it for the week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the week, I did this um, volume stretching thing. Awesomeness in the. In the <laughs> um, 
You can try to show it in blender. <laughs> I got a great blender here. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, fresh from the. That's a master uh, robot. But a master is fine, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you can just add a um, stretch tool constraint. To this? No, uh, no, that was. Uh, I actually, yeah, wanted to, to show. Uh, is disabled. Ah, in a here, a stretch to constraint. How do you? Constraints. It has duplicated things, so it has something to stretch to. Yeah, just show the option. Stretch to, where is it? Down, 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 down. down, down, down. Can I search? Yeah. Sure. No. Bingo. Yeah, I mean, there's now volume minimum maximum. We don't see this. So you have a limit for the stretchiness of the thing, because otherwise, <laughs> when you move it very close to the target, it would uh, go to a very extreme. Um, squashing of the, the optical hole. You can smooth it out so it's nice and. Oh, well, just duplicate the thing and. and uh, yeah. This is a good thing. Well, you have to move it a little bit somewhere. The what? Mm -hmm. Move the icon sphere. Move the sphere. Yeah, there yeah. we are. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what happens when you have it. Yeah. Reset. You can uh, press reset. Reset. Exactly. Yeah. Bam. Oh, if you move the sphere, you see the sphere. Look at that! If you move it very close, you see it squashes like crazy. It even doesn't do weird stuff. It's awesome. How do you work? No, no, no. It's not easy. It's not turned yeah, on. It's but okay. <laughs> you can set a max, max volume, for example, volume max. Like, for example, volume max. Ah, so you can use it. It's a factor. Well, it's well, like. And yeah, the maximum of three but times I mean, width or something. It depends. Like two work. times would be a closer, closer, closer. Ah, closer, closer. Ah, you can. It doesn't go. Yeah. It doesn't go into uh, the plane anymore. It doesn't yeah. go berserk. Yeah. And you have that smooth thing yeah, below where you can set the smoothness so it doesn't hit a wall when it comes to its maximum. Maximus? Yeah, we have to shut the min max. Ah, yeah. there you go. Mark. Yeah, toggle it. You know, volume max. Yeah. But. Yeah. Hmm? Animate a little bit so we can see how. Jesus, man. Make a tutorial. <laughs> 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 Put it in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice tutorial. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can see. Mm -hmm. Looks smooth. More, smooth. More smooth. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sweet, sweet, smooth. So smooth. Without? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you saw Blender yesterday? Oh, this was only Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried no, to, uh, um, well, I actually had it working. I have a basic Alembic. Uh, import export working. Working, yeah. I wanted to make a test build, but I had these cons for that. The Alembic builds by the whole thing. Blender is kind of hard to compile, you know, nowadays. Right? Two developers is not enough to compile Blender nowadays. How many developers take so? three developers. I want to see if we can come over to the cave and. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Next time, you can make a screenshot. Right. It's not the screenshot you can share it you see. Save successfully Alembic file. Then yeah. you look at you can just remember this. Like how do I does an Alembic file look like? It's it's called Blender file. Yeah. 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 But what are you doing at the moment? Then I mean, I think the machine based. I've been uh, testing it with the mesh cache modifier, okay. and the branch so contains a bit of code for the point cache replacement of that stuff. We need to think about the design. And is Alembic now more effective and more fast than the mesh cache modifier? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I did some tests. 
the better performance. At least it supports pressure. actual topology changes, which is something that the mesh cache formats like MDD and oh. PC2 also don't. So you can change the topology? Yeah. 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 That's like, like awesome. With same file, so can change the put, uh, like, I don't know, uh, subdivision on it or anything. That's totally fine. Yeah. From a monkey to a whatever. Wow. I don't know what you want to see. Back down. Two weeks. You will see. A down. Oh. No. Look at the conference. Yeah. At the conference. Ah, the good belly talk. I don't know. Does he have like own talk? Um, I don't think so. He doesn't have an own talk. We've got both English computer. He will become the he will be the rock star of that that that. That's it. That's it. Okay. 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 Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't yeah. I don't remember what it is. Twenty cents. Ma 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 yeah. Monday. I don't remember. Tuesday. Fix it like close uh, to ten bucks. Oh, but you have a lot of images here. Yeah. Right? Don't open them. Please. <laughs> ah. And and then. Um, and yeah, but on Wednesday I made like a moving a parented cube. Look at you that. You opened the wrong one. But it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. but there, there are many. What do I do? I mean, it just says in the name what it is. It's it's area lamp in the volume, and it's how it used to be a stem samples. So this is. This is like master at the beginning of the week. Ten is, samples in two seventy two. Yes. This. This is two samples oh. in 272 with multiple important samples. Oh, with the same amount of samples? Yeah. Yeah, and but it, but, but, but this. But it, 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 it's still like, well, I mean, it's, 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 it's reasonably fast, but it's still not easy. If you go further, it's 100 samples without miss and 100 Whoa. samples with miss. That's how it used to be. If you go further, uh, this is 10 samples without me with, after some magic happened. Wow. <laughs> this is miss. This is 100 samples. And yeah, this is 100 samples with miss. And the uh, next would contain like side by side, I think. Yes, this is side by side. We have the, the same 100 <coughs> samples. To crush eyes. And render time? Uh -huh. Render time is approximately the same, but it's much less noise now. Wow. For the same render. Ooh. For free. You don't have to change anything. You should solve you just, you, you just get pull and, yeah, you, or, or you do both version. It's in, it's in master branch now. Uh, next, it will be like a warning about, like, I don't know. It, it, hey, it, wow. It um, this is uh, the thing. It tells actually the render time. No. Oh, no, there is uh, one more image, the area lamp sample. Oh, no, it's fine. It is the fine. It, it is fine, yeah. This is like without any magic, it was rendered in like four oh, minutes mm. 52. Four minutes 52. Yeah, mm. if you go further, it's with one little tweak to the code. It's went down to four minutes 10 or so. Okay. And there is a little bit of difference in light. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little bit different. So <laughs> that, 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 that's basically on it. So wow. basic, basically, the idea is to skip uh, evaluating clamps, which doesn't contribute a lot of light to the, the shader. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it's, it, it's basically you skip like most of the lights. It's just different with threshold, but it doesn't give less like, reasonable amounts, you know. It's still like it's available as a patch, but it's something to be investigated further with like different termination from the criteria. Yeah, it basically skips everything, so image skip looks a bit different. What does it mean? It skips like the moment it reaches the surface. Well, 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 when you like shading the point and that 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 surface, if if the light doesn't contribute oh, lots of energy, you don't waste time on. The bow there if it's not enough, not worth it. Yeah, yeah, it does have like like like, like this. Yeah, apparently, so it, it skips everything if it's not uh, enough highlighted. At least that's the idea. Unless I did some terrible mistake and it still does something, but 
Hey, faster. <laughs> I don't know, if it's like 15% faster with the like minor shading changes. Awesome. Does, um, it, does it help reducing noise also, or is it speed? No, it's not about noise. It's, okay. just, it's just like speed. I don't think it will reduce noise. Yeah. Awesome. And they also have now like like, like a parented cube and sphere, which works together in the new dependency graph. But that's all it currently works. <laughs> What you can parent? You yeah. can parent a sphere and a cube. Yeah. Oh, no. awesome. How awesome is that? <laughs> Not a cube to a cube because that's. <laughs> Not <laughs> that <you're> crazy. <laughs> you know, my why would they, why, why they parent cube to cube? Why would they have two I, cubes in the center? Uh, no, no, I'm an artist, you know? They're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy know. stuff. Yeah, but. Awesome. There was something else, but I don't know. Where are you going to try to cut that thing and optimize the shaders? The demo that cycles is fast. The artists who are slow. I, I could, yeah. What did you put to me? What? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, talk to him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Animators, they don't make things slow. Yeah, sometimes it's slow motion. Have you seen Transformers? Uh, uh, the hero is the plant. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Plant is slow. Yeah. So the 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 no, yep. why? You don't want to do this. I want <laughs> <laughs> it's better. No, it's not better. It is. It's better for you, but it's better for him. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Just, we just need a little bit more brain power. No, more brain power. That's how we run our brain power. Not like with the matrix. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 So, we've got a great blender for you here. Thank you. Thank you. Let me share the thing. Mm -hmm. Bam. Bam. Okay, so this is what I'm working on for the past two weeks. This is, uh, these are widgets. This will be uh, Uh, widgets, which are basically 3D shapes in the 3D world that you can manipulate, uh, uh, that we, you can use to manipulate operators and stuff like that. Uh, they're supposed to be hooked up to the transform operator, but they're not very well hooked up currently. Basically, we try to mimic the old uh, uh, Blender 4, uh, 4, yeah, 9, to 4, 4, to 4, to 4 9, yeah. And it, this is a little bit uh, improbably. Uh, the transform modifiers need still not uh, made the uh, hook back to the system, but I will show you something later. You can shade them if you want to by clicking the user preferences, mm -hmm. or you can have them in 3D space instead of 2D and have them bigger or smaller. Okay, sorry. And I've got a file as well that I wanted to show you. Basically, it's estimates. Okay, so this is a, a lamp, and uh, we, 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 we will use the witch manipulator to basically control uh, the spread of the lamp. Wow. And, uh, wow. This is the idea of how this will work. Actually, you have a, uh, this is an operator that controls uh, the width of the spotlight, and you have a widget which can control the parameter of that operator, and you can do stuff like that. Okay. And the role works the other way around. Hmm? Umbrella works everywhere around. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> an umbrella. You have to press the button and then pull. Yeah. I'm not even sure if, that, if that's the best uh, icon, the best icon to use for this kind of interaction. Which it's just pretty much a yeah. proof of concept to show that uh, you can use a widget to control something. Anything. Anything. Yeah. But how are you going to show the mapping? The mapping is solved by pass. We keep an uh, an operator uh, in, in the widget, uh, an RNA pointer, and we pass events to the operator. So each time the widget changes, it uh, passes events to the operator and uh, updates a, a property. But you are going to do that, but that's not working, right? This is working? Yeah, this is working. Right, okay. 
you click on the rigid, it flips. So that there is no mapping. There is a mapping. Yeah, it flips. You see? What do you mean? Fixed. So the, 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 the rigid should, should stop at where the so push side is. When you stop moving it, it's uh, the mapping. It, 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 uh, it goes down. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but uh, uh, the mapping. This the mapping should be one to really. You can't use this. Uh, but I, I can. Uh, I, it's just that I have not. Uh, you can't use it. It's just that I have not uh, coded the, uh, the the operator that way. But it's say uh, you can definitely do that in the current design. It's definitely do it. It's not. Uh, I would make that part of the design and not make it it's, like uh, the scripter has to set this up because by default the mapping should work in a way. If you set up the mapping, and then this will work automatically. Well, ba basically the the way I've uh, coded the widget now, it just takes the position from the lamp itself. So you, you just have to update the widget because the position of the widget is updated each time it's moved. So basically you just have to keep the offset and uh, it's it's not a big deal really. You can do it even now. Uh, anyway. We'll review that next week. Yeah. And uh, the other thing I've worked on is uh, Pi menus. Uh, let's see if we can okay. enable them. Could we possibly yeah. use those widgets for rigs or custom? Yeah, that's the whole. Uh, that's the the idea. Basically, we we want to code um, a specific type of widget, which is um, uh, which basically you can take take a mesh, define face groups. For, and uh, each face group can uh, can be a widget. So you hover over over an area with some faces, and when you click them, it, it does whatever you want, any oh. operator you want, basically. That's it. That's the idea. And uh, the other stuff, uh, well, well, we have five menus. I made them support uh, hierarchies, so you can click and get more by menus here wow. oh, and cool. there's a, a new feature where you can you have this confirmed threshold basically when you increase it a little bit sorry oh where is it? No, no, no. Okay. yeah so when you increase it a little bit you don't need to uh, you get this second circle and you you don't need to confirm at all you just click click oh, oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not awesome. pressing anything. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's stuff of work. It's quite cool. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Who went around? Huh? Okay. Oh, no, no, it was done. <laughs> We're finished. Hello, my name is Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this week I worked in. Uh, let me close this. Well, I've been doing some uh, some modeling. Let me share the screen first. Uh, so I've been doing some little modeling stuff, and uh, well, actually, first I should show what I did at the beginning of the week. I fixed something in Blender.org for the layout. Uh, we have some basic stats. I did the design, and we have a schedule that nice. took me a big part of the week. So, just a heads up. It's a beautiful schedule. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. People can go see it in Blender Door slash conference. Then, besides that, I also did some Blender stuff. I uh, started modeling some uh, some mushrooms, mushrooms, and assets, and then found out that they were supposed to look like this, that much, but yeah, I'm to use them. In Spanish. Uh, ongo. ongo. Boring, and preferred mushroom. Uh, some oh, leaf. I haven't seen too. that, it's wow. awesome. Some, uh, uh, I've been good? talking with, uh, so, is it how it's supposed to look? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then adding little holes and here and there, and uh, because last week I made a, a five faces thing, and then I go, no, I have to have more detail, so I added more, a bit more detail. <laughs> uh, and even even works nice with the. It has a real scale, and uh, it even works nice with the. looking like something. With with the characters and stuff, and uh, even they they pile up uh, nicely, and they even look like uh, like a good. Awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, and then I started modeling and, and making the, the little cocoon, but uh, 
Oh, yeah, I'm trying shading stuff. Cool. Well, a, at the same time, just... Pablo, it's a sad past chess pawn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of the modeling I'm doing, what? and then yeah. But what next week I'm gonna keep more modeling. More? Yes. That's, that's one or two more things to. <laughs> well, <laughs> when we start layouts, yeah, it's gonna be next yeah, week nice. more modeling. Rock action yeah. rocking. For sure. Next week it's a Blender conference. A big discussion. We have to show more on, uh, on the conference. The conference yeah. is Friday. Yeah. What do you have to do? Do you have a talk? Yes. <laughs> ah, yes, I have a. Uh, ah, no, I'm going to that. No. <laughs> and then I don't have anything else. <laughs> yeah, you Sunday. have to help him with the talk. <laughs> Sunday. Cool. Um, but yeah, basically that. But it would be nice if we have we start the layout to know what needs to be. The animatic today was really good. You that start with the island, I think. For the layout, yeah. Well, the, yeah, it'd be great. <coughs> uh, make a, a cliff. But there's already things we can do for the for the jungle thing also. Because the opening when you wax up on the leaf, it's. Yes, it can, can be done already. Oh, we, have the, the, yeah, leaf, we have the leaf, we have the sleeve at the pillar, so yeah. we can work on this too. Because yeah. you have to wait for Frank. Yeah. 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 For the sheep, the sheep. Okay, for the other. Okay. And then we go the weekly for close. Yeah. Seven o'clock. Exactly, one hour. Maybe we want to put it at Maghreb for a second. Everybody on the internet can see Maghreb. Streaming. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, live. Yes, live. Oh. <laughs> Everybody now knows that you are here. Hey. Like Andy. Thank you, Matthias. Super, you're streaming. Amicia. I can do my Amicia. Yes. 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 So what do you do this week? <laughs> do you have internet? Went to the gym, uh, yeah. went out swimming. Um, <laughs> so I'm Margaret. I used to work here for a year while ago. And um, currently I work at the um, Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences, where I um, coach students, I run some projects, and um, I'm uh, currently working on an interesting project that might interest you. Uh, it's not as professional as you are working on, probably, but. Um, not professionals? Yeah, no, I think so. You are professionals. Oh, you do get paid, I think. Uh, no, 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 really. <laughs> oh, you tell me now. <laughs> um, I'm really are... professional. You don't have that good website. Blender! I So what we are what? trying to do here for an um an uh, uh lingerie, what's a lingerie uh, lingerie. 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 lingerie lingerie organization in Belgium? Um, to help them out, to uh, help designers um, to use more the 3D world uh, to show their work instead of 2D. So to see how 3D can improve their work process. And um, it's really difficult because uh, there are a lot of, I think currently a lot of virtual catwalks where women are walking over, but you see a lot of things moving, but not the breasts. So it's very difficult if you put a bra around to actually see what's happening there. And uh, um, when the students start, we give them a small assignment. They are currently with five students from various different backgrounds. So, what's this? No, I'm no. thinking about the problem. Soft body. We have, um, yeah. we have um, two girls from the Fashion Institute. We have uh, one guy from um, Eco Design from Italy. We have um, a student from game design, and we have a girl from media and technology from um, the University of Leiden. 
and they are currently doing all their best to um, yeah, come up with solutions. And this was their assignment. It's um, a uh, two-minute um, short movie. I can show you a bit uh, mm -hmm. about their work, how they their assignment was that to create a user scene and how to or what the user um, like to exp to get to know a bit their context and to get to know each other and see what skills they have and. Yeah. Is this still live? Are we still on stream? Yeah. Ah, okay. There is sound, but I don't know if there is sound. Maybe the computer was on. Because I don't have a sound. Oh, there is sound. That's a way better project than us. Yeah. <laughs> we need more books. Uh. Yeah. So this is the perfect world they sketched with a model. And this is more like uh, <laughs> reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so guys, you know, only yeah. maybe we, it's, you know, we girls, we suffer a lot. Being yeah, it's class. like the, the American infomercials for like, has this happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a guy that can't open a like, carton of milk. Like, oh. <laughs> Fighting. Yeah. Lighting it, fighting hard. <laughs> Uncomfortable, stitchy. I think you think it's not fair. Yeah. Not overlap. And this is uh, how um, yeah. we hardly have any animation skills, so we're really doing our best to. Uh... There are also, I didn't know, quite some fashion programs really, like who really have like 3D simulation uh, possibilities. I think there are like four or five, and we are now looking into them and to uh, see how we can benefit from them. But, uh... <clears throat> okay. Stream yeah. stop. Yeah. And there's all the uh, next stream. <laughs> then the conference stream. Right. Yes, all. Bye bye. Bye. Ciao. Adios. Ciao. Oh.